Friday, I'm live. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord with you, my sister. Hallelujah. Patient Kashibi Karibu Sana. Wangu Mutua Karibu 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 Newton. Ndavisi Karibu Karibu. Hallelujah. I can see you. I'm lifted up before our Savior. I'm lifted up before our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. As we get ready to pray, I want to tell you a little story. You know, um, Gatrudrino Karibu, Wajiro Joy, I see you, Karibu, Moray Mutari, Karibu Sana. You know, um, a number of people have felt very troubled by the way the videos have really gone viral and um, we've received quite a number of insults and backlash. But you know, for me, I'm reminded that, um, number one, when the word of God goes out and um, you're countered, it means you're reaching people who are unreached. Um, when you're told things like, you know, you'll be chips funga, <laughs> I don't know what that means, you'll be chips in Jehanam, um, we know the truth. And so we pray for those that are lost, that think that if you preach the book also can be lost. And also you remember that um, these are unreached people, these are people who have not heard the gospel, and you thank God for Facebook, where else would we reach them? And we've been asking the Lord to bring them in, and the Lord has brought them in. They're watching the video, they're asking questions. And you know the fact that they're asking questions means that they're listening, that they're seeing, that they're being reached. You know, I, I strongly believe in the Word of God that says that the Word of God does not return to Him void, uh, but must accomplish that which it has been sent to accomplish. I also strongly believe that... Um, um, Mm, hallelujah. Nyara Jenny, you're saying you can't see anything. Guys, can you see me or is this something happening only to Nyara Jenny? Nya Suba. Suba is our home. Hallelujah. I don't know. Is this, is this something happening only on her side? Uh, Nyara Jenny, can you hear me or it's just, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Lord, just connect your people. Connect your people. You know, the word of God says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There is power in hearing the gospel. So even when you seem to reject it, there is power in hearing the gospel. You know, I, I'm reminded of how uh, for 17 years, I used to say I was born a Catholic, I'll die a Catholic, and I used to swear that I'll never, ever, ever get born again. I used to say it. And um, my story is very much like a soul story, you know, soul on the way to Damascus. And so for me, um, when I'm insulted, when somebody speaks against the name of God, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't scare me, because I was one such person. And all I can do is pray. All I can do is pray. Terry, thank you for confirming. You can see and you can hear. Hallelujah. So I think I needed to just acknowledge Nara Jenny so that she knows that we can see her and we can hear her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's focus on the Word of God. You know, the Lord yesterday began to minister to me about two things. One is that um, uh, Abraham's uh, father, Terah, was actually um, sacrificing at the table of the moon god, at the altar of the moon god. He was not a believer of Jehovah God. And yet, look what Abraham did as he heard the word of God, as he heard the voice of God and as he turned through many generations, blessed because of him. We stand on the promises of God. We call God the God of Abraham. And yet, Abraham was the first one in his family to believe in God. You know, when you choose to honor God, when you choose to be faithful to God, then we know very well that the Lord has begun a lineage of grace, a lineage of his glory. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. We repent for the past, and then we move forward with the Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So um, for me in my house, we have declared, we, we really have taken time to repent for the past. We've taken time to um, ask God to disconnect us from the past because the word of God is clear that if you bow before any other God, then you will be cursed to four generations. However, if you bow before Jehovah God, you will be blessed to a thousand generations. So I stand on that word, take time to repent for the past and to enter into a covenant with the Lord for future generations. As for me and my house, we will serve Jehovah. I like to say, if I die, let me die in the army of the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. And knowing that my Savior is the one who allows for us to transition from this life into eternal life, not any other. Many testimonies have been given. I remember the story of General Bart Naked. 
and how they tried to kill a pastor, but he became invisible. So for me, I'm not afraid. I know if the Lord intends for me to die on the battlefront, which I, I believe is not my portion, then um, I will die in transition into, into glory. We sleep, we sleep. Uh, but other than that, the Lord will cover us, the Lord will protect us. Um, you know, and I love to say what an old general said, how can you threaten that which is dead? Uh, I have been crucified with Christ and I therefore no longer live, but Christ lives in me. What I do, I do according to the order and the tenets of the Lord. That's the reason we gather in this place. So as the Lord said, gather together today to pray. I said, Lord God, I will gather. Now I want to tell you the other story that the Lord was ministering to me on. And this is based on a little cartoon. Um, the ants versus the, the grasshoppers. The ants versus the grasshoppers. The ants versus the grasshoppers. So you watch this cartoon and um, the, 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 the ants are very hard working gathering uh, 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 food for the grasshoppers and grasshoppers come and they're terrorizing them and everything. But because of one little ant, because of one little ant that stepped forward even though it was crushed and it was shaking and it was scared, it stepped forward and the other ant suddenly realized, let's die today. Let's die today. We're going to die today, but we'll die trying. We'll die fighting. I want to challenge the believers. I want to challenge the people of God. Uh, we need to learn to step forward. If you look at the first church, if you look at the disciples, they were fearless. They stepped forward. They were known. In fact, the word of God says uh, in the book of Acts, I believe it's either chapter 2 or chapter 3, it says that they gathered together. If you could just open it for me so that we can quote scripture correctly. Uh, it says that they were gathered. They used to gather together with, with one accord. They would sell their possessions. And this just means that nobody should be hungry in the house of the Lord. The tithes are supposed to feed people in the house of the Lord. And they would gather together in one accord. And in the name of Jesus, they would meet together and they would pray and they would cry to the name of God. And the Lord is the one who added together, added to them daily those who are being saved. So we, we need to step together. We need to stand together. We need to pray together. We need to unite saints of God. And we need to know we are not. We may look like we are ants. We may look like we are foolish. There are louder people out there. There are people who are shouting all sorts of things out there. But we know who we have believed. We know who we have believed. So can find them. It must be Acts 2 because I believe in the Acts 2 church. Yes, it is, it is, it is. I love the Acts 2 church because I remember when I got saved, the, uh, the Holy Spirit led me to read the word of God. And it was Acts 2 verse 21 that I read. And it says, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And I started shaking and saying, how is it that for 17 years I've been taught and do such thing as salvation? But here it clearly says, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they gathered together, waiting upon the Lord, even as the Pentecost fell. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Is there something about reading somebody else's Bible, isn't there? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, it's Acts 2 because it's about uh, the fellowship of believers. They devoted themselves, that's Acts 2, verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders, miracles, signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together, and they had everything in common. Selling their possessions and goods, they gave to anyone as he has had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple court. They broke bread in their homes, this is about the Last Supper, and they ate together with gladness and with sincere hearts. Uh, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people, and the Lord added to them daily. The Lord added to them daily those who are continually being saved. We are seeing it here. Thank you, Ma. We are seeing it here, and the Lord has been doing it. He's moving our numbers, increasing us daily. Um, those who are being saved, those who are being brought into the knowledge of Jesus, those who are being brought into the army of the Lord. Shall we pray? Thank you, Terry. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you, Terry. Now may I see you. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Oh, what a karibu, 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 Julie, flavored. I keep calling you flavored, my sister. The Holy Spirit is speaking, hallelujah. It says it's babbling, life but babbling. It's okay, just speak, speak to the network. Let's focus on the Lord Jesus. He will deal with the network, hallelujah. You know, we're just going to surrender ourselves into the Holy Spirit to pray. Um, today, um, Sister Terry, Terry Shield, who sent me a message. 
saying, uh, my sister, continue to pray, continue to seek the name of the Lord, continue to lead as the Holy Spirit leads, because I've just seen uh, trending that President Uhuru Kenyatta has started in Moranga. What are the odds that you're in Moranga on Saturday with such urgency and calling on the name of the Lord and leading people into prayer? And he begins there. Indeed, there are no coincidences in the spiritual realm. There are no coincidences with the Lord. God is very deliberate. He's very deliberate when he sends us somewhere. He sends us very deliberately to that place. Hallelujah. Shall we begin by thanking God for that miracle, sign and wonder? The Lord uses the prophets uh, to guide the land. The Lord uses the prophets. Amos 3, 7 says the Lord does nothing unless he speaks to his servants, the prophets. When the Lord wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, the angels asked him, shall we do this thing without speaking to our servant Abraham? And uh, the Lord said, no, go and tell him. And Abraham interceded. So the prophetic goes forward. Of course, praise goes forward. Judah and uh, the prophetic uh, provides leadership according to the heart of God. The prophetic is just about hearing from the heart of God, from the throne of God. And all we do in the prophetic is we say the Lord is saying. Yesterday evening I did a video and many did not understand. I had to pull over in parking because the Lord put that word in my heart. I was only opening my mouth and the Lord was speaking. Sometimes you can tell that even by the voice. I'm told that my voice changes when I'm prophesying. It's very, very different. Um, and you can tell. For those that know the Lord, um, you know very well, you hear the Holy Spirit, you feel the Holy Spirit. Um, of course, the Holy Spirit will annoy so many that are not of the Lord uh, because of the spirit that is in them, the spirit of darkness that continues to hold people, but they will be set free in the name of Jesus. So there's always a reaction. Do not be afraid, do not be shaken when you see insults. They're not insulting us. Uh, remember, Jesus is a rock of offense. He's a rock of offense, and he never wanted to offend. Remember, he asked um, one of his disciples, go to, the, go to the lake and go and find a fish there, and it will have a coin, because we need to give this coin to give to taxation. Because though we are not of this world, because we are not bound by this world, we need to give our taxes, lest they be offended. Jesus never intended to offend. I don't intend to offend. And for anyone that is offended by the message of the gospel, I just want to apologize. That is never my intention. I cry to the Lord so often, how do I give this message without offending? That is not my intention. Please do forgive me for offending you. And I pray that you'll receive the gospel of peace and that you will receive the word that the Lord has for you. Bondage is not your portion. Uh, being held by religion is not your portion. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to begin by repenting, O oh God, because of those that have been offended by the words that have come from my mouth. Father God, if there be any place that I have prayed, O oh God, or spoken, O oh God, in the flesh, and not anything that is spoken to me, Lord God, I repent in the presence of the multitude. Forgive me, Lord. Give me wisdom in how to deliver your word, O oh God. And Lord, you over God, may I not turn to the left or to the, to, to the right, O oh God, but focus on you, O oh Lord. Teach me to tap wholly into the Spirit of God. Give me wisdom on how to mouth the words, O oh God that the people will receive and repent from, O oh God. Thank you for the many that have heard the gospel and, O oh God, are crying day and night to you and crying for you, O oh God. Indeed, we gather together, O oh God, and we obey you for the sake of the cross, O oh Lord, for the Lamb that was slain and for the, for the saints of God. Indeed, for the kingdom of God, that is the kingdom of God. Father God, I want to just gather together with my friends, together with the church, saying thank you. Thank you for sending us to Moranga. Thank you for providing the fuel to get there. Thank you for giving us the courage to go there. Thank you, Lord, for shaking us up from our comfort zone. It's so easy to say, I want to rest. Thank you, Lord God. Obedience comes from you, O oh God. It's a grace that you give to us to obey. Lord Jehovah God, thank you for the work that you did in that place. Thank you for the church in that place that gathered and received us, O oh God. Thank you for giving us a place to pray, O oh God. We did not burn in the presence of the Son, O oh God. We got shelter to pray. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you for the work that was done there. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us on how to pray. That today as the President began there, O oh God, this earthly King that you have given us, O oh Lord Jehovah God, that as he began there, O oh Lord Jehovah God, because you've given him authority for this nation, he went, O oh God, into a cleansed altar. Your altar, O oh God. Not what was there before, but your glory. Thank you, King Jesus. We 
don't take it for granted. Lord Jehovah God, this morning as you led me to just um, read the book of Hosea, you spoke to me about hordons, Lord. And Lord, that's what you call them, hordons, O oh God. Adultery, fornication, O oh God. Indeed, when we, we, your bride, is gathered together with darkness, O oh Lord, with any other altar, with any other religion other than with Christ our bridegroom, indeed, Lord God, you consider us to be prostitutes just like Hosea's wife. We repent, Lord, because as a nation we are guilty, O oh God. We are guilty, O oh God. We are guilty of hoarding, O oh God. We are guilty of bowing down to idols. We are guilty of worshipping men and women of God. We are guilty, O oh God, of lifting up religion rather than the name of Jesus. We are guilty of prayerlessness. We are guilty, O oh God, of gathering together to pray, O oh God, when things are thick at the election time, O oh Lord, and when the results and everything has cooled down, we forget. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive me, O oh God. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, King of Kings, we repent on behalf of our nation. Father God, we ask you to forgive this nation, O oh God, uh, for giving ourselves as your bride to other bridegrooms, O oh God. Cleanse us, O oh God, and do not hold it against us, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God, for godlessness. Forgive us, O oh God, for immorality. Forgive us, O oh God, for failing to turn up, O oh God, to gather together as believers to pray on Sundays and even on Saturdays, O oh Lord Jehovah God. O oh Lord Jehovah God, and through the week, forgive us, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Forgive us, O oh God, as a church for keeping silent. Forgive us, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Somebody asked, O oh God, one of the Muslims asked. No, actually, it wasn't one of the Muslims. It was one of the Christians that asked. Uh, or somebody anyway asked, where were you? Where were you? And God, the, the voice was so bitter on the comments, where were you? Lord, forgive us. We've not spoken up, oh God, as we should. When money in this nation has been stolen, when people have been displaced, we've not spoken up, oh Lord Jehovah God, when the widow has not found justice. We've not spoken up, oh Lord Jehovah God, when evil seems to triumph. We've not spoken up, we've not guided the people, oh Lord Jehovah. Forgive us, Lord. And so, so many have turned away from me, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Saints of God, just put prayer points. Just put prayer points. Father, forgive us, oh God, for bringing filth before your eyes. Jerry is saying, forgive us, oh Lord, Jehovah God. Forgive us, oh God, that we don't fear you when we hear your voice. Instead, we have insults, oh Lord, Jehovah God. It reminds me, oh God, of your prophet that was called Baldy, Baldy, Baldy. And what ensued, O oh Lord Jehovah God, was scary, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Father, forgive our brothers, our sisters, that how insults at us, O oh God, do not hold it against them, O oh God. Like Jesus said, forgive them, for they do not know what they do, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Somebody point, Father, put prayer points. I feel led to pray for uh, uh, couples that are trying to have babies, as well as couples that have lost uh, their babies. Um, and uh, people that um, are mourning the loss of their little ones, people who miscarried, uh, people who are having difficult pregnancies. I began to feel that uh, yesterday as I got home and um, I, I wanted to reach out to a lady who had inboxed me asking me to pray with her because she's having a difficult pregnancy. And I've just been praying for her and I was reaching out to her just to let her know that the Lord has spoken to me and I want to pray for you and I'm praying for you. Then the first message that I saw at the very top said, pray for me, Pastor. I lost my baby two days ago. I lost my baby two days ago. I feel lost. I feel like there's darkness all around me. Pray for me. I'm not able to go to work. Shall we pray? Please continue to put in prayer points and I will just come back and check as the Holy Spirit leads you. Hallelujah. I see Christian marriages have seen that message. Father God, we want to pray for these ones. We want to pray for the ones, oh God, that have waited upon you, oh God. The ones, oh God, that have been pregnant, oh Lord Jehovah God, and now are holding, holding themselves, oh Lord Jehovah God, asking, where are you? Where are you? Darkness seems to have fallen on them, oh Lord Jehovah God, as they mourn the loss of their little ones, oh God. Oh Lord Jehovah, would you go there with encouragement, Spirit, oh God, Blanket them with encouragement, O oh God. You're forming a ministry in that situation. Give them the oil of gladness for their mourning, Spirit of God. Go and envelop them, Spirit of the living God, with your comfort as only you can comfort. Encourage them and strengthen them, O oh God. 
Father God, do not allow their marriages to be shaken because of this miscarriage, because of this trial of losing the baby, because of this trying to have a baby. My Father, my God, encourage them and strengthen them, O God. Father God, what the enemy intends for evil, would you turn around for good, O Lord Jehovah God? Because they love you and they're called according to your purpose, O God. Oh, turn their mourning into dancing, O Lord Jehovah God, as only you can, O Lord Jehovah. Reach out to oh God, reach out to oh God, reach out and touch them, O oh God, even as we pray. Come on, saints of God, let's cry for them right now. Father God, we are crying, we are crying for the woman who's lost her baby. Oh God, whether in the womb, oh Lord God, holding them, oh Lord Jehovah God. Or oh, whether, Lord, they were grown up, so God, and they are mourning. Lord, you never intended for us to bury our children. Lord Jehovah God, the natural order according to you is for our children to bury us. Lord, we pray, we pray for those ones, oh God, that are mourning the loss of their babies. Oh, Lord Jehovah God, we also pray for the one that thought they were pregnant and received their period all of a sudden, oh God. For that translates to the loss of a baby, oh Lord God, in their hearts, because they believed that they were expecting, oh God. Oh, Yakaina Masina, Lord Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, touch them as only well you can. Surround them with your strength, oh God. Send them help and send the people who will minister to them, oh God, destiny help us, oh God, who will stand with them and walk with them, oh God. Send them help for their journey. Send them comfort, oh Lord Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, as we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the one who is our oh Lord crying, oh God, that their womb would be open. Maybe it's not their womb, maybe it's the quiver from their husband, oh Lord Jehovah God, the one that you said, their quivers shall be full, oh Lord Jehovah God. We pray for the woman who's feeling incomplete without a baby. We pray for the woman who's being mocked, oh God, the Hannahs that are being mocked, oh God. Oh Lord Jehovah God, especially for those of the household of faith, Lord, they have believed, they have trusted, but they're asking, where are you? People are laughing at them, wondering, which God is this that you follow? Like Hannah, Lord, they are crying and crying, and only, oh God, only whispers can come out, oh Lord, because they've cried for so long. Some are numb, some are unable to believe anymore, some are on the verge of giving up on their faith. Lord Jesus, this faith is greater than a baby. This faith is greater than the losses we incur. This, this, this faith is greater, oh God, than the things that seem to be denied. This faith is greater. Lord, uphold them with their righteous eye and oh God, that they'll not give up, oh Lord Jehovah. For sometimes the enemy wants us to give up, oh Lord, and there we know, Lord, our blessing is given up. Oh God, sometimes we give up just on the verge, just on the verge of breakthrough, oh Lord. Uphold them, Lord, that the enemy will not try it. Uphold them, Lord, to get to the place where they say, with or without a baby, Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Anyway, I didn't come to salvation because of what you give me. I came to salvation because I have received and I'm in need of a Savior. I came into salvation to minister to you like the woman with the alabastro. Oh, Yaramasira, yes, I came, oh God, to wipe your feet, oh God, with my tears. Oh, to wash your feet with my tears and to wipe it with my hair. That's why I came. I came to worship you for the rest of my life. It doesn't matter what may come my way. I choose to honor you. Like Job, oh God, may they cry out, oh God, and may we cry out, Lord, that even though you slay me, yet will I still follow you. For that is the ultimate test of our faith. And very often when we reach that place, breakthrough comes. Breakthrough comes. Breakthrough comes. Lord, I want to pray for the man, oh God. Father, give grace to that woman. Give grace to that woman, oh Lord, who says, I can't do it anymore. Send grace, send grace, abound in grace, Lord. Your grace is sufficient. When we have a thorn in the flesh, your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we pray for this man who feels as though he needs to fill out, who feels as though he needs to test his edges with others, oh God, because he doesn't believe 
that he could possibly be unable to cause his wife to conceive. Oh God, this man who the enemy is telling you're not man enough. Father God, give them peace that they may know that the, the, the strength of a man is not dependent on the ability to father children. Many are the fathers who have adopted children in their hearts and they do greater things than the earthly father, than the biological father. So many, so many, so many, just because you're a daddy doesn't mean that you're a father. Father, won't you show them? Won't you show them, Father, who does only you can, oh God? Won't you send another man to encourage them? As sometimes only another man can, oh God, that they will not defile themselves because they feel that you have not answered them, because they feel that you've let them down, oh God. May they be set apart, oh Lord Jehovah God, for the sake of covenant seed, oh God. Father God, for those that are expecting, oh God, and they're having what the doctors call a threatened abortion, that when the body threatens to push out the baby. Lord Jehovah God, we stand on Deuteronomy 28, I forget the verse, but it says that this, this vine shall not cast its fruit before its time. This vine shall not cast its fruit before its time. Hallelujah, we'll find the scripture shortly. This vine shall not cast its fruit, Deuteronomy 28. This vine shall not cast its fruit before its time. Hallelujah, we're standing on that word. Lord Jehovah God, we know that covenant seed is threatened by the enemy. Very often the enemy goes for our children because it is our children that you promised, that you said to Eve, that our children will step, will step, will be bitten by the serpent and will step on its head. It is in our children, oh God, because that promise remains, oh God. Because though it was a curse, Lord Jehovah God, because Jesus bore those curses upon himself, that what stands, oh God, is that we shall trample on stakes and scorpions. Hallelujah. Our children trample on snakes and scorpions. And especially when we give, um, we have our children and conceive when we're in the Lord, they are no ordinary child. They are called covenant seed. They are called covenant seed, and the enemy knows it. The vine shall not cast its fruit before its time I found it. Deuteronomy 28 in the blessed says, check it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So do not do not be um do not be ignorant about the power of covenant seed. When you conceive and you're carrying a baby, don't hide it. Um, by hiding it, I mean let intercessors know that I am expectant so that they can begin to intercede. The pregnancy of the one who is born again is no ordinary pregnancy. You are carrying covenant seed, the promise of God, and you don't know what that child shall become because you're a prayerful mother. Do not be ignorant. Do not be ignorant. Hallelujah. Even when you conceive in sin, repent. Repent, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. May we not conceive in sin, Lord have mercy. But if you realize that as a result of your sin you have conceived, I urge you, fall before the presence of God. Don't carry condemnation with you. Fall before the presence of God with repentance and with crying. I urge you not to have sex outside of marriage. I urge you not to have sex with someone who's not your husband. I urge you, married women, not to have sex with people who are not your husband. But oh, Lord Jehovah, should you receive this message after it has happened. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Oh, the word of God says those who walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. Sometimes we sleep and we fall. That's why the word of God says that a righteous person shall fall seven times, but seven times he will rise. I tell you, it's by grace. It's by grace. It's by grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 28 verse 4. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land, and the young of your livestock, the calf of your hands, and the lamb of your flock. This one that says that the, the vine shall cast its fruit before its time. Strength to find it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that scripture, Deuteronomy 28, is very powerful, by the way. If you pray it every single morning, declare it every single morning, the blessings part. Every single morning you choose to walk in it very, very powerful. It has two particular scriptures, verses that talk about the fruit of your womb. 
very very powerful hallelujah we're skipping that scripture the vine shall not cast its fruit before its time hallelujah we declare this upon the expectant moms in the name of jesus speak it and say my vine shall not cast its fruit before its time in the name of jesus hallelujah we speak shalom upon you. We ask the Lord to cover your feet as with the blood of Jesus. We ask the Lord to cover you with the blood of Jesus. We ask the Lord to cause your feet to be stable as you walk, that you will not trip and fall in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We ask the Lord to protect you from any diseases. We ask the Lord to protect your amniotic sac and to keep it full in the name of Jesus. Second of June, second, first, first of June, First of June, 21st of June, 2011, yes. Uh, I lost some music fluid and I was told that I would need to go in for an emergency cesarean. It was one month before I delivered. I want to testify because uh, we overcome the enemy uh, by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of our testimony, and that we do not love life even unto death. Revelations 12 11. This is a wife for somebody. Uh, 1st of June, um, I lost water from my amniotic fluid. I was admitted in hospital. Uh, first and second of June, and I was told by the radiologist, if I were you, I would go for an emergency cesarean. I will give you another testimony as the Lord allows of my firstborn, and why I said to the Lord that will be my first and my last cesarean. And I, I covenanted with the Lord to have normal deliveries, and I had a normal delivery in my second one. I was very quick from the first pain to the delivery was four hours, and the Lord had told me you shall have a daughter, and she will be a worshiper. Hallelujah, and she has turned out to be a worshiper. Uh, she's 11 years old now and she's in the worship team. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anointed of the Lord. Plays three different instruments. Glory to God. The Lord watches his word and is careful to perform it. I'm encouraging somebody who's lying in bed asking how long Lord. Share this video with your friend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so as I was told that I will not have, if I hold on and I insist on keeping this baby, then I'm going to have a vegetable, my baby will be a vegetable. I sat in Nairobi hospital and I cried to the Lord and he asked me, whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? And I said, Lord, I shall believe your report. I have nobody to call. I can't think of anybody to call that will understand. But I call on the name of Jesus and I move forth in faith. The second day, on the 2nd of, of, of June, <laughs> the 2nd of June, the doctor looked at me and said the amniotic fluid is beginning to increase. And on the 3rd of June, 2011, I was discharged. A month later, I continued to work. By the way, I said I will not miss work. I love to work. On the 2nd, on the 3rd, I, I went back to work. And when I went back to work, I continued to work. And the baby came. The baby was born on the 21st of June. Normal delivery. No more delivery. And my baby prophesies. My baby, she's only seven years old, but she's a girl who looks at me and says, I hear the Spirit of God saying, and it's exactly the word that I'm feeling in my heart. Last night as we were praying, she stopped the prayer. And she said, Mama, the Spirit of the Lord God is saying. And she prophesied, and I knew it was the voice of the Lord, and we took time to pray. So many times she's told me the Lord is saying this, and immediately we pray. Suddenly somebody receives healing, and I call them to confirm and she is healed. Yes, the enemy will send attacks on covenant seed. He doesn't just sit back and wait. He doesn't just sit back and wait. Little Tamara, little Tamara was born through normal delivery on the 21st of, of, of June, uh, just three weeks after my admission. Very normal, but also, by the way, she wasn't breathing and she was blue. And I remember asking the doctor, why is she so black? Uh, the devil was not done yet. Why is she so black? And the midwife suddenly looked like they were panicking. Kumbe, she was not breathing. She was not breathing and they just got her to breathe. The most beautiful baby you've ever seen. Anointed of the Lord. But let me tell you something. From the first pain of labor to the delivery. My second born, my first born was through an a cesarean section. I will minister on that another day. But I told the Lord I shall never sleep again when I'm delivering my baby. And the Lord said, yes, you shall deliver through normal delivery. And my, my second born was born through normal delivery. I've been told it shall never be possible. Normal delivery. Four hours of labor only from the first pain to the delivery. I prayed in tongues as I was delivering that baby all through until my doctor asked me, where do you fellowship? And then my second born, my third born, who the enemy was trying to attack in the womb um, from the first 
pain to the delivery was shorter than my second one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a God who moves us from glory to glory to glory. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. So many of you are shaken in your bed. Only believe. You will testify. You will glorify the name of the Lord. I had one, one, one a cesarean section which was terrible and the devil wanted to kill me. I have had three normal deliveries thereafter. My children love the Lord so deeply. So when you are attacked, know you are being attacked when you are pregnant because of covenant. See, the enemy is not going to sit back. Stand up and fight. Pray. Pray. Worship the Lord. Fill the room with worship and glorify the Lord. If you are being attacked, you are unable to give birth. Oh, just trust in the name of the Lord. Continue to believe. I know a woman of God who it took 13 years, 13 years, 13 years, and her husband, a pastor, they are pastors in full time ministry. 13 years, the Lord had given the pastor a vision of the son. So when they felt the Lord moving in, then they said, We will adopt a little girl. So not a son, but a little girl. And soon after they adopted the little girl, then they conceived their, their, their son second born, uh, who was their first born according to uh, the, the couple in terms of the biological. And yes, the Lord continued to give them children. I believe they have five children now. Do not give up. Do not give up. If you know your God, do not give up. We don't love the Lord because of what he can do for us. We love the Lord for who he is. For who he is. Babies, do not define us. How many spiritual children begin to ask the Lord what is delaying, what is delaying uh, what it is that you've called us in to. Great shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Great shall be your testimony. Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whose report shall we believe? Is there any other prayer item before we close? Any other prayer item before we close? Let's continue to pray for him. Let's continue to pray for our nation. Let's continue to cry to the Lord on behalf of this country. Hallelujah. Any prayer item, just put it in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has the final say in how we say. Hallelujah. We are closing. We are closing. Hallelujah. Lord Jehovah God, we pray for the saints. Whatever it is that they are going through, would you encourage them, O God? Father God, there will be somebody somewhere, and I sense it, who is watching this video from their bed. Oh Lord Jehovah God, they are unwell, Lord Jehovah. Disease has attacked them and hit them. Lord Jehovah, won't you visit upon the sick? Oh Lord Jehovah God, and heal them in the name of Jesus. Another one is praying for their mother. Another one is praying for their father, a relative. Uh, Lord God, they are not the ones that are necessarily sick, but they are crying to you, oh God. Lord Jehovah God, we unite in faith with them, O oh Lord, because the prayer, the fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much, O oh Lord Jehovah God. We cry to you, Lord Jehovah. We trust you for testimonies of healing in the name of Jesus. We trust you, Lord Jehovah God, for testimonies, O God, of jobs being delivered to people in the name of Jesus. Oh, the times of blessing, Lord Jehovah God. Oh, Lord Jehovah, give your children jobs and businesses. Oh, Lord, visit upon, oh, Lord Jehovah God, the financial situation of your children as they bring the tithes and the offerings into your house. Lord Jehovah God, minister to them in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devourer, Lord Jehovah God. God, we are blessed so that we may bless Teach us to give, oh God, not just 10%, but teach us to give, Lord Jehovah God. When we hear, oh God, that a child is admitted in hospital, Lord, teach us to give, oh Lord Jehovah God. When we hear, oh Lord Jehovah God, that somebody is without school fees, cause us to give, oh God. When we hear that another is without food, Lord God, cause us to give, oh God. And cause us to give without counting what we are giving, oh Lord God. That the enemy, oh God, will be rebuked because, Lord, blessed is the one who gives more than the one who received in the name of Jesus. We thank you, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for morality. We pray for morality in the church. Oh, Lord Jehovah God, amongst women. Lord Jehovah, even as a sister shared this morning, that they saw, uh, they had a dream of women being stripped in town because they were naked. And another woman was on the side saying, I'm asking God how to pray, and I'm looking for scripture on how to pray. Lord Jehovah God, teach us as women to come around. Teach us, Lord Jehovah God, that our sexiness is found in you, oh God, and it's found, oh God, for the purpose, oh God, of pleasing our husbands, oh God. Lord Jehovah God, there's no reason for a woman to look sexy unless it's for her husband, oh Lord Jehovah God. 
Teach us, O oh God, that beauty is what you give us, O oh Lord Jehovah, and nothing else, O oh Lord. Father God, open our eyes as women, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Father God, we are learning so many things, O oh God, from videos of music that are made from hell, O oh God. It's not even the way the Americans are dressing, O oh Lord Jehovah God. Father God, would you teach us, O oh God, not to be ministered to, O oh God, from videos that are made from hell to pervert, O oh Lord Jehovah. We repent as women, O oh God, for exposing our flesh, for exposing our bodies, O oh Lord Jehovah God, for looking to dress sexily, O oh God, for wrong purposes and wrong motives, O oh God, have mercy on us. Lord, we ask you also to strengthen the brothers, O oh God, that even in an age where, O oh Lord Jehovah God, the enemy is using um, uh, naked women, O oh God, to cause the brothers to fall, that they will fix their eyes on you, Lord. That like Job said, um, Lord God, that they, I have covenanted with my eyes not to look lustfully after a woman. Lord God, may our brothers also choose not to look lustfully after a woman in the name of Jesus. Father, give us love in the church. As, as Sister Watele is saying, give us love in the church. Teach us how to love one another, Lord God. Teach us how to minister love to one another, Lord. Not just by saying, I love you. But Lord, by asking, Lord, how can I minister to somebody today? Lord, how can I reach out to this one today? Lord, what can I do for this one today? Give us love. Father God, give us love even for our enemies, O oh God. Give us love for those that persecute us and hate us, O oh Lord Jehovah God, because that is the love of God. Father God, we ask for agape in the church. May they see that we are Christians by our love. Father God, we've been taught a different kind of love, O oh God of the world. We've been taught even, O oh Lord Jehovah God, eros, O oh Lord Jehovah God. We've been taught, O oh God, even love, the wrong love, even parental love, has its wrong things, O oh God, in that we love children who do better. We love children who are easier. And we do not necessarily show love or encourage, encourage love for the one who has fallen, the child who is gone, the one who is difficult, O oh God. Teach us your love, Father. Your love is perfect, and perfect love casts away all fear. Love covers a multitude of wrongs, O oh God. Love is patient, love is kind. Father God, may we bear one another, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Pray for the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Give us an outpouring of the Spirit of God. For Father God, even um, as, as Lord we pray, as we stand forward, so many a time the attacks do not come from outside, they come from those of the body of Christ. Lord God, teach us not to attack one another. Let there be an outpouring of the Spirit of God. So that Lord God, when we speak, Another will bear the sweetness as opposed to attacking. Another will bow and know the Spirit of God is speaking. And honor, O oh God, instead of being jealous, instead of competing, instead of feeling the need to correct or show that we know better than others, O oh God. May we use our giftings, O oh God, for the glory of God. Pour out your Spirit on your church. Give us no rest, O oh God. Shake us up until we are praying and crying to you, O oh God. Father, fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord. Sister Nyangi Nyango, Nyangi Nyango is saying, fill me. Lord, I desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you're longing to be filled with the Spirit of God, just lift up your hands. You need to be born again. Let me do first the sinner's prayer. Are you here and you have not given your life to Christ? You'd like to give your life to Christ. The beauty with the Lord Jesus Christ is that if you ask him to come into your heart, he comes. But you cannot be filled with the Spirit of God if Jesus is not love. It is not Lord in your life. Hallelujah. Shall we pray for the ones who want to give their life to Christ? Are you there? Do you want to give your life to Christ? Are you there? Do you want to give your life to Christ? Just say, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. Repeat after me. Lord, come into my heart. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. Forgive me of my sin. For Lord, I have sinned. Cause me to walk in your ways from this day henceforth. I enter into a new covenant with you, a covenant that will cancel every other covenant that existed before now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I enter into the covenant of salvation. Jesus, lead me. Jesus, guide me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you've given your life to Christ, I would like to ask you to inbox me so that we can walk together. Now for those of you born again, even a new believer, I know, I know, you might be crying, you might be shaking, it's amazing. Or really, you're not feeling anything, it's also okay. 
because what has happened is spiritual, not physical. The physical just has to bow. You want to be filled with the Holy Spirit right now. As I begin to pray in tongues, just receive from the Lord. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on these ones that are hungry for you. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God fall afresh on you from your head to your toes. I speak right now a new anointing. I speak right now a fresh outpour of the Holy Ghost in your life. Right now, Spirit of the living God, fall on every vessel that says, I've emptied myself for you. Fill those jars as the new wine. Overflowing Spirit of God, overflowing me as well. Oh, let our cups fall, flow to overflowing in the name of Jesus. Receive the Spirit of God. Receive the fire of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Overflow to the point of praying in tongues. I pray right now for you. Overflow to the place of praying in tongues. Why are tongues so necessary? Because they help us to pray according to the will of God with moans and groans that cannot be understood. Uh, according to Romans 8, the Holy Spirit prays to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you. Be encouraged. Continue to minister. Continue to share the gospel. Let's pray for one another. Won't you remember me in prayer? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I pray for all the pastors. I pray for all the men and women of God that are on the front line with the gospel. I pray for all the worship leaders. I pray for all the intercessors, the intercessory ministry leaders. I pray for the ushers. I pray for the ones um, in hospitality. Anybody, anybody in ministry, I pray for you right now that grace may abound. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you with his righteous right hand. I pray that you will not give up and you will not fade. I declare that after you have ministered to others, you will not be disqualified from the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name, receive shalom, receive strength, receive grace. Hallelujah. We are one body in Christ. We are one body in Christ. Wherever you are ministering, if you are a friend of God, if you are ministering for the Lord Jesus, we are one. We agree with you in spirit. Let the Lord continue to use you and to move in you and to move mightily in you. May you not be discouraged. May the Lord provide for you himself. And may you have every good thing that you need for the gospel to go on. Be encouraged. May the Lord release his angels from Zion and protect your very life. That do not lose people on the battlefield. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. Let's continue to pray. Hallelujah. The Lord will use us. The Lord will use us. The Lord hears us from Zion. And will do great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Glory to God.